breaking news alert the jury is still deciding the fate of the man accused of killing a memphis police officer that's right trevino campbell is facing 14 charges including first degree murder and the death of martoya lang time now 602 and this morning new questions are coming to light on if someone could have stopped a gunman from walking into a texas church and killing 26 people on sunday the mass shooting happened in sutherland springs texas which is just 30 miles outside of San Antonio. And our very own Felicia Bolton was on the Las Vegas trip last night when those shots rang out. And Felicia joins us now live from Las Vegas. And Felicia, we're so glad you're okay. But can you describe for us the moment you had to run for safety? Yeah, absolutely, Joe. I was there last night when those shots were being fired, and I did see a crowd of people rushing towards the northern portion of the strip. That's when I noticed that something was going on. After that, my fiance and I, we decided to leave the Venetian. We were taking pictures, and we started to head north on the strip. We started to follow that crowd of people. My journalistic instinct kicked in. I knew that I had to contact some type of official, find someone, a police officer, anyone with a badge to ask them what was going on. I did see two officers there on the strip on the right hand side. One was a female officer carrying a large rifle. The other was a male officer. I asked her what was going on. She immediately told us that we had to go north on the strip, that there was an active shooter or shooters still out there. Guilty of second degree murder. That's the verdict by a jury today in the trial of Trevino Campbell. He was found guilty of gunning down Memphis police officer Martoya Lang back in 2012. Time now is 610 and tonight your nationally ranked Memphis Tigers will take on the Tulane Green Wave. The Green Wave ranked 12th in the nation and rushing offense this year averaging 266 yards per game. Memphis is ranked in the top 25 at number 24. But for those hard to find items like that weird thing you see right there, <laughs> you may not want to wait. First Alert Weather is sponsored by your Memphis area Honda dealers. What was that? I think that was a Hatchimal, which is one He's of the hottest on toys. I do have kids, so I, you know I know these things. But and it uh, hatches. Right, right. It's uh, it's only fifteen dollars according to that website, so that's what a, a good deal. deal. Yeah. Deal. Do we have a deal in our forecast? Yes. Or is it going to be too cold? If you like cold weather, and I know a lot of people do during the holidays, sure. Mm -hmm. Then I think you're going to be satisfied today. 524 the time right now at the Mandarin Hotel on the Vegas Strip. You might be surprised who greets you at the door. Meet Pepper. Her official title is Technical Ambassador with large expressive eyes and lifelike movements. The four foot tall robot can detect facial body and voice cues. She can also answer questions, give directions and even recommendations on where to eat or what show you should see. The hotel says they introduced Pepper over the last two weeks to see how guests take to her. And if it all goes well, you can see more robots like Pepper running around a hotel near you. First Alert Weather is sponsored by your Memphis area Honda dealers. Small known fact, that would scare me. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd they come up with Pepper? Uh, you know? I don't know. Random thoughts on, yeah, at 525. Random Ooh. thoughts about <laughs> robot names. <laughs> What's not random is our forecast. You are spot on with it. Yeah, definitely yeah. not random. I spent some time <laughs> forecasting this morning. Well, your water bottle may be dirtier than your dog's bone. How gross is that? <laughs> a team from the website treadmillreviews.net tested the lids of 12 water bottles used by athletes. Each bottle contained about 1,000 times more bacteria than an average dog toy. You know her from her so roles in hit shows, The Parkers, and the award-winning movie Precious. We're so excited to have her on the show. Welcome, Monique. And she also has a really special guest okay. that we probably need to mention as well, Tone you X. In. Where you fit in. Don't Cheat yourself. Treat, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Okay. Treat you did it. this for cheat yourself. That kind of th it's, it's somebody that was trying to keep right. them. They got I, thrown I, I messed up. Now, right. listen, you know how they this say, is for I self esteem. My you know how they I'm say, I'm trying to get on the team. Yourself. When they say bye, bye Felicia, now they listen, you got to stay with it. I'm trying to be high, Felicia. We don't throw this. That's not what we do, okay? Because we might throw it and it might be thrown. Okay, so we got to keep this in position. She said she's trying to be high, Felicia. I'm trying to be high, Felicia. I like it. I give it to him. Well, wait a minute. That's when you go into the corner work. You don't give them boom because that takes you to the corner. Right. But this okay. right here.
kept you at the lounge. Okay? You see what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> then you popped it. Like you need to come to Chuckles. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And see, y'all can't see Uncle Carl behind the camera. Y'all can't see Uncle Carl behind that camera, baby. Uncle come in front of the camera, Uncle Show Carl. Show up, Uncle Carl. Come on. You, oh, Step out. Oh, get it. Go on. Walk. Give it to and walk. And walk. And walk. What you talk about, what you want to do. That's Uncle Carl. He know what to do. That's Uncle Carl. Uncle Carl. Uncle Carl. Uncle Carl. Uncle Carl. What y'all don't know about Uncle Carl, right? And I'm going to share it. Tell them. Then you're probably too young to know this. It's okay. Teach me something. But back in the day, now we've Uncle heard of Charles. a deep fried turkey, a smoked turkey. There's even online tutorials about how you can microwave your turkey, but. A flaming hot Cheeto turkey? Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> In the end, you'll have a bright red bird ready to pair with all of your classic Thanksgiving fixings and a fiery stain on your tongue. If hot Cheetos aren't your thing, you can mimic that crusted turkey effect with Cool Ranch Doritos and some Funyuns. Funyuns? Would you try that? Funyun Andrew? turkeys? I don't, I probably Ooh. not. I'm a traditionalist when it comes to the bird, you know, on Thanksgiving. That's very true. <laughs> and the Memphis Zoo wants to get you into the holiday spirit. The annual Zoo Lights event kicks off tonight. Always a great event each and every year. WMC Action News 5's Tiffany Neely has a sneak peek of what you can expect this year. Good morning, Tiffany. Police investigating a woman's death on Mud Island. Who was taken into custody and what neighbors say they heard. Also, a Mid-South pastor helping Texas. How the senior pastor of Bellevue Baptist Church is lending a helping hand after that Texas mass church shooting. And an employee removed from a school. What we learned about allegations of inappropriate relationships with a middle school student. Good morning. It's 6 o'clock on a Wednesday morning, November 8th. I'm Andrew Douglas. And I'm Felicia Bolton. You will definitely need something warm to drink this morning because it's a chilly start to your day. No question. It's chilly and cloudy out there. Meteorologist Bernie Bryan has an update on your forecast. First alert weather. Time now 602. And this morning, new questions are coming to light on if someone could have stopped a gunman from walking into a Texas church and killing 26 people on Sunday. The mass shooting happened in Sutherland Springs, Texas, which is just... 30 miles outside of San Antonio. WMC Action News 5's Kendall Downing has been reading up on this investigation. Kendall, what do you know about the suspect? Felicia, it does appear that Devin Kelly... The Time now 6.05. We have breaking news out of Salt Lake City, Utah. A police officer and two underage people are recovering after they were shot overnight. Investigators say this happened after a confrontation at an apartment building. The two juveniles left the scene in a vehicle driven by a third person. They arrived to a hospital soon after the police officer called in that shooting. All three are expected to be okay. And this morning, according to the Memphis Police Department, an employee at Jeter Middle School has been removed after being accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a student. WMC Action News 5's Jerrica Phillips is live for us this morning. Jerrica, what are parents saying about all of this? Good morning, Felicia. Time now 608. Trees, debris, and even a mobile home were blown down when storms rolled through Tennessee. Take a look at the video. This is in Athens, Tennessee, which is about an hour away from Chattanooga. One person had to go to the hospital. City officials are asking people to stay clear of small roads while utility services respond to all of this damage. Also, heavy rain moving across Nashville caused some major flooding throughout that area. Emergency crews worked around the clock saving people who were trapped when those waters were rising. They're on Shelby out of Hickory Hill and Fox Meadows. Traffic is slowing as well. Be careful. Thanks for that update on I-40, Janine. Time now is 610, preparing to shop this Black Friday. How you can get early access to those popular deals. That's coming up next. Plus, alcohol being linked to cancer. Recommendations from experts so you won't put yourself at risk. And a 94-year-old woman escaping abduction. How she was able to get away and how she got help. You're never more than seven minutes away from traffic and weather. It's a cloudy day, but showers could be on the way. Brittany Bryant has which areas could be affected. Your weather and traffic every seven minutes. You're watching WMC Action News 5. We'll be right back.
It is a first alert weather day. We have an update on who will see frigid temperatures first and when the rain will begin here. Plus, shot and killed in Fraser. The role a broken window at a fire station may have played in this deadly shooting. Thousands of documents released. We break down some of the findings and the new information out this morning on the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Good morning at 6 o'clock on this Friday morning, October 27th. I'm Andrew Douglas. And I'm Felicia Bolton. It's a first alert weather day. Grab the raincoats, boots, and umbrellas. Time now at 6.02. We have breaking news this morning. Friends and family will say their final goodbyes to a loved one that was killed outside of a fire station after getting shot at a Fraser Corner store. The shooting happened around 10.30 last night. St. Elmo near Range Line. The victim was found at Overton Crossing. WMC Action News 5. Tiffany Neely is live. Tiffany, what have you learned about this scene? This morning, some documents into President John F. Kennedy's assassination remain secret. That's despite a guarantee from President Donald Trump on Thursday that they will all be unsealed. Kendall Downing is in the Alert Center with the latest. Kendall, what changed? Felicia, it was a last-minute decision. Back to you. Thank you. Time now is 6.05, and ahead today, a man charged with killing a co-worker will face a judge today. Police say Terrence Coleman II is charged with first-degree murder. He admitted to police that he killed co-worker Marcus Nelson because he mean mugged him. The shooting happened Tuesday outside a Saturn warehouse on Knight Road. Coleman's father was also in the vehicle when that shooting happened. It is 6.05 this morning. Also in just a few hours, family and friends will hold a funeral for beloved Memphis newspaper publisher Burnell Smith II. WMC Action News 5's Jerrica Phillips is live with details on his service. Time now 6.07, getting guns off the streets of Memphis. This weekend, city leaders are teaming up with community leaders to exchange guns for gas groceries or Grizzlies tickets. If we save one life, we've made a difference. That's the goal of the campaign. Last year, 530 guns were turned in. Back in 2015, police took in around 720 weapons off the streets. Since January to this year to October the 8th, over 1,900 guns have been stolen from cars. Those are guns that our citizens and visitors to our city are carrying around in their cars. And it's your responsibility to make sure your gun is properly stored. Free gun locks will be given away. You can turn in as many guns as you want this Saturday at the Hickory Ridge Mall starting at 10 a.m. However, you can only get up to three gift cards from Kroger or Mapco. Time now is 610, and tonight your nationally ranked Memphis Tigers will take on the Tulane Green Wave. The Green Wave ranked 12th in the nation in rushing offense this year, averaging 266 yards per game. Memphis is ranked in the top 25 at number 24. It's 611 this morning, and Uber is being sued. The reason some employees of the company say it's not being fair. And taking a hit, NFL ratings down big time. Almost 20% from a few years ago. This morning, one business says its sales are now suffering due to the national anthem protests.